Paddling TV is brought to you by Neki Kayaks and the new RIP Recreational Kayak. A lively and playful kayak for beginner to intermediate flatwater paddlers. Check out the new RIP Kayak at NekiKayaks.com. Kayaks come in two basic styles. You've got sit on top kayaks and you've got sit in sides. And both are available as singles or doubles. They also come as hard shells or as inflatables. Although there are some major differences between sit inside and sit on top kayaks, they share many of the same parts. The top of a kayak is called the deck, the bottom is the hull, the front is the bow, and the back is the stern. On top of the deck, you'll often find deck lines or bungees. At the stern of the kayak, you should find some grab loops, and some kayaks have rudders. Rudders swivel side to side in the horizontal plane and are controlled by foot pedals. Skegs simply drop straight in the water and help the boat go straight. Both sit on top and sit inside kayaks have seats and some form of foot support, like the foot wells in this sit on top kayak. There are also foot pedals which slide on a track to uh, adjust for different size paddlers. Foot wells are convenient, but if you're going to sp be spending a full day on the water, you'll want to use foot pedals. They're a lot more comfortable and you get a lot more support from them. The best kayaks will also have a built-in backrest, which makes sitting in a kayak a lot more comfortable. The biggest difference between the two types of kayaks is that sit-in sides are enclosed. There's an area called a cockpit where you sit. Around the cockpit is a cockpit rim where you can attach a spray skirt to keep water out. Inside the cockpit you'll find a seat and foot pedals that you can adjust according to your leg length. With the hundreds of options out there, choosing a kayak can seem overwhelming, but it doesn't need to be and it's hard to make a wrong decision. The best way to narrow down your options is to identify how and where you'll be using your kayak. Will you be paddling on a sheltered lake or at the beach? Will the water be warm? Are you looking for a kayak that can travel quickly or are you more concerned about having a very stable boat that would be difficult to tip over? Your first and biggest decision is whether to go for a sit on top or a sit inside kayak and there are pros and cons to both. Sit-on-tops are the most user-friendly. They're very stable, easy to get in and out of, and there's no feeling of confinement on them. They're also self-bailing, which means that they have small holes called scupper holes that allow the water to drain right through them. Another great thing about sit-on-tops is that you can slip on and off of them as you please. All these features make the sit-on-top kayak a great choice for nervous paddlers, for warm environments, and for paddling with kids who love to swim. The downside to sit-on-top kayaks that you're guaranteed to get wet while paddling, while sit-inside kayaks allow you to stay dry. Sit-insides also shelter your lower body from the wind, which makes them much warmer. Sit-inside kayaks are great for paddlers who will be in cooler water, who want to stay dry while paddling, and who consider their kayak more of a vehicle for travel than a toy. One downside to the sit-inside kayaks is that you don't have the same freedom to move in and out of the water. And if you do flip for some reason, Recovery is a complicated process because your kayak will likely be filled with water. Like sit-on-tops, recreational sit-inside kayaks are very stable, fun, and easy to use. They have large cockpits, so there's no reason to feel confined in them. Some even have waterproof compartments that are accessed through hatches in the deck. Once you've decided on whether to go for a sit-on-top or a sit-inside, you'll need to decide on a length of your kayak. As a general rule, the longer and narrower a kayak is, the faster it'll travel. And the wider a kayak is, the more stable but slower it'll be. Most sit-on-top kayaks are considered recreational or rec kayaks because they're wide and ultra-stable. Sit-inside kayaks can vary a lot more in shape and size and in purpose. In fact, sit-inside kayaks can be broken into two distinct categories. You've got recreational sit-inside kayaks, then you've got these touring or sea kayaks. The recreational boats are wider they're shorter and they have these big cockpits, so they don't feel confining at all. The touring or sea kayaks are longer, narrower, so they're a lot faster. They also have thigh hooks or knee cups to give you a lot more control over the edging of the boat. The cockpits, though, are a lot smaller, so they do tend to feel a bit more confining, although it's very easy to get out of these boats as well. If speed isn't that important to you, you might as well choose a shorter kayak. They're lighter and they're easier to move around. 
Most kayaks have a hard shell made from a durable plastic that will last forever and that doesn't require much maintenance. There are also kayaks made from composite materials like fiberglass, carbon and Kevlar that make them significantly lighter. The downside is they don't take abuse as well. They also tend to cost a lot more. You also have inflatable kayaks like this one from Innova. They're very comfortable to paddle and they can be deflated, rolled up or folded down and actually carried in a backpack. These kayaks are made with coated fabrics and are surprisingly durable. Inflatable kayaks don't tend to be as fast as hard shell kayaks, but they are incredibly versatile. Thermoform kayaks are the newest type of kayak to hit the market. And they're gaining in popularity because they fall somewhere in between plastic and composite in affordability, durability and weight.